be visible even to the naked eye. Early tomorrow morning, you might want to take out some binoculars or a telescope. You're going to be looking at beautiful conditions at least early in the day. Now, there's a chance that we could see it at around sunset too tomorrow night, according to some of these amateur astronomers and the scientists out there who have been tracking this comet, which is newly discovered. And so NEOWISE is the new name, and that's based on the uh, shuttle uh, investigating the system. And yeah, just beautiful conditions to see that early morning, hopefully. Mark Shapiro also sending this to us, and Rick Morgan, the other photo that you just saw a minute ago. Hard to see and capture on camera as well. Uh, so hopefully you'll have a chance to see that early tomorrow morning before the clouds roll in late tomorrow. We have just a few in the morning and a little bit of patchy dense fog for some where we had the biggest rainfall totals over the last couple of days, and mainly yesterday where we had those storms roll in. Take a look at this from Paul Preston and Clemens. Just incredible storm clouds that rolled through. Also, this one from Michael Souther in Hamptonville. Unfortunately, he lost his shed. His outbuilding roof was destroyed. But notice the cars were not damaged, luckily. So I was happy to see that, but not fun to have those trees coming down yesterday. A lot of power lines, too. Beautiful to see the rainbows, though. This was taken by Becky Spiegelman's wife uh, in Pofftown area. Beautiful to have a double rainbows. We had that also reported north in Surrey County. Tomorrow, we've got a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. This is going to include the mountains, western foothills again. That area may spread a little bit farther to the east. We'll be watching for any changes in that. So meteorologist Carly Cassidy is who you want to check in with in the morning. Make sure that the track of these storms is still looking to be mainly in the mountains. But we're looking at needing to check our radar beginning after 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Damaging wind, some flash flooding may be possible or at least ponding and localized flooding. We're also looking at the threat of quarter size hail and frequent lightning. So when we have a lot of lightning with these storms, it's definitely time to get indoors anytime you hear that thunder, right? All right, showers and thunderstorms as we get into your to early tomorrow could bring in some showers and thunderstorms by around 3 o'clock. I'll back that up for you here, and you can see by early tomorrow morning, it's still dry. We're comfortable upper 60s to low 70s. Here's where the showers and thunderstorms begin to build for us through late afternoon, and that looks to be the case as we head into your Monday. We might see a few of those storms kind of straggling in overnight and a few more popping through middle of the day on Monday until that system is through, but looking good to clear you out, unfortunately not cool you down. Even though we have a couple of fronts that'll come in, it just brings back the heat and will ramp up the higher humidity through middle of the week. So Monday looks good. And into Tuesday, we dry out. We have hot temperatures also in the 90s. Tomorrow morning, 65 degrees and you're 80 in the mountains. And notice your storm chances may increase after the noon hour. So you've got impact hours continuing throughout the afternoon and into early evening. 66 in the foothills will take temperatures there to near 90 degrees. Storm chances for you at 30% coming up to 40% closer to the dinner hour. 69 in the trot with highs near 90 and a rain chance of 30% out there. And our high temperatures today hit 90 degrees, 93 in Burlington. And right now you're sitting at 77 degrees in Winston-Salem or Greensboro, 78 Winston-Salem and a winds out of the west northwest. Pretty dry for you right now. And all that rain that we had, most of it was felt up along the Delaware coastline as well as the Jersey Shore and Maryland's eastern shore near Ocean City with five to seven inches reported. Thank goodness Faye is out of here and we are simply dealing with the hot, humid weather with steamy conditions developing through middle of the week. It may feel like the lower 100s heading into next weekend with better storm chances.